Hey guys, this is Balu from Balu Prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how we can create this kind of bitcoins falling into a ball using rigid body physics in Blender easily. So hope you guys will find this tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video, please click on that like button to share this content and if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing my channel and support me. And by the way, if you like short 3D simulation videos, you can check out my second channel link in the description. So now without any further ado, let's start today's video. So here I'm using Blender 2.93 nice. So now let's select everything in this default scene by pressing A on the keyboard and delete. So now let's start this by creating our bowl. So go to this add mesh select UV sphere. So let me increase the scaling. So press S and increase the scaling here. Now let me move to the side viewport by pressing 3 and let me place it just above to this grid here like this. Okay. So now select this sphere, press tab on the keyboard for edit mode. Let me move to this wireframe and be on this vertex mode and select all the vertices here so i think these many vertices are enough so make sure all the vertices are selected okay so now press delete on the keyboard and select these vertices so that we will get this half ball so now let me move this shape mode and press tab to exit this edit mode nice so now come to this modifier options add modifier add subdivision surface now let me increase this view counter to and let me shade smooth this one and let me apply this okay so now let's add some thickness onto this ball. So come to this add modifier once again and add solidify modifier and thickness. Let me increase this to minus 0 0.02. Okay. So that we'll get the thickness outward. Okay. So now come to this object data properties, normals and enable this auto smooth. Nice. So now let me apply this modifier also. So we got our ball. So here the pivot point is not at the center. So select this object, go to this object set origin order to geometry so now let's add a base so go to this add mesh select a plane so press s and increase the scaling so that it will get a plane nice so let me go to this here and let me enable this cavity and also let me add shadows okay nice so here we got our bowl and a ground plane ready so now let's import our bitcoin so here i got this model from sketchfab download link in the description so go to this file import it is an fbx file so select this fbx so select this fbx file and import fbx so here you can see we got this coin here so let me reduce the scaling so press s and reduce the scaling and make sure to apply the transform so come to this object apply apply scale okay and make sure that the origin point is set to its center so if it is not at the center so again select the object go to this object set origin origin to geometry okay nice so now select this bitcoin let me move on to this material viewport. So here there is no material on that. So let's add Bitcoin material. So come to this material properties or else come to this shading viewport. Click on this plus sign to add principal BSDF shader, which is a default one. Okay. So now select this principal BSDF. Press Ctrl plus T to get node wrangler. And by the way, if you're not enable node wrangler, go to this window. Sorry, go to this edit preferences. In add-ons look for node wrangler so by default this will be unchecked enable it save those preferences and close them okay so we got these nodes here so from here we can select the texture onto this coin so let me select a texture so while downloading this model we will get the textures along with that so let me select that now. so go to this open so here go to a texture so let me select first this one and open image so we got this yellow texture onto that so now let's select normals so so now select this node duplicate it by pressing shift plus d and bring it down here let me bring it here like this so okay so nice so now select this one now come to this add and look for normal map so select this normal and place it here so from here we need to select this normal map open image now connect this color to color and normal to normal so here you can see we got that bitcoin texture onto that so here let's give it a metallic look so increase this metallic and reduce the roughness a bit and reduce the roughness here a bit like this okay so we got this material here so make sure we need to apply material before only so come to this layout once again so we got the material now so now let's move on to the solid viewport once again now select this coin come to this modifier options once again add modifier and add 
array modifier nice so now let me increase the count to three and let me bring this a distance here and okay so now let me duplicate this modifier once again so click on this drop down and duplicate this one so now change this y to 1.3 and change this x to 0 so we got these coins here at the top and let me increase this count to i think okay i think 10 coins are enough nice so now again duplicate this modifier so drop down duplicate and from here now make this y zero and make this z at 1.3 okay and let me bring this distance here a bit so now we can see we got these many coins let me reduce the counter to three here so okay these many are enough so make sure that the coins are not intersecting with each other okay so once this is done we can apply all these modifiers so let me apply this modifier apply this modifier and also apply this modifier okay so if we see this all these coins are like a single object so we need to have these coins separately so for that first let me place these coins here okay and press tab on the keyboard for edit mode now press a to select all the coins by the way if the coins are not selected only if one coin is selected or any one word is selected press a to select rest of them now press p on the keyboard and select this by loose parts so now we will get all the coins separately so now we need to make sure that origin point is set to its center so now press tab to exit that edit mode so being selected all these coins okay so now come to this here click on this and select this individual origins and come to this object set origin origin to geometry so now each coin is separated and got that origin point to its center nice okay so now let's apply rigid body properties onto this coin so first select any of the coin come to this physics property add rigid body and type let it be active shape change it to mesh okay so now if i play this you can see that coin will be falling down nice so now being selected that coin press b on the keyboard for box selection select rest of the coins like that and go to this object rigid body and select this copy from active so now if i play this you can see all the coins will be falling down so now let's add a colliding plane here so again go to this add mesh select a plane and let me place this here press s and increase the scaling let me press this here and let me rotate this one like this so that the coins will collide with this plane and fall onto this let me place this bowl aside like this okay so that these coins will collide with the plane and fall onto this bowl so for this plane also we need to add colliding property so select this plane add rigid body but type change it to passive and shape change it to mesh okay so now select this plane once again add rigid body for this also and type let it be passive and shape change it to mesh so for this bowl also we need to add that property so select this bowl apply rigid body type change it to passive and shape change it to mesh so i will show you why we need to change this shape to mesh so by default if i leave this to convex hull so now if i play this you can see the coins will not fall into the bowl so in order to make this coin fall into this bowl we need to change the shape of this bowl into mesh so select the bowl change this to mesh and so now if i play this once again you can see the coins will be falling into the bowl okay so for that reason only we need to change the shape to mesh okay so now let me play this once again so here all these coins are falling down so let me do some adjustment so select this plane press tab once again select this edge mode select this edge select this edge press e z and bring this here and press tab once again so let me get here so press tab once again come to this what is select this what this is here and press s and reduce the scaling here a bit like this and also let me place this here okay so press tab once again 
So now let's play this once again. So now we can say that most of the coins are not falling now. All the coins are falling into the bowl itself. Okay. So once you are happy with the animation or effect, we can select any of the rigid body here. Come to the scene properties, rigid body world. Come to this cache option. Here we can select number of frames to be cached. So here I will leave this to 250 only. So 1 to 250. So simply click on this bake button. So here this baking is done. Okay. So now if I play this, we can get this smooth preview. So make sure before going to render, we need to bake the simulation. Okay. So now let's move on to this render viewport. So currently the scene is looking dark because there is no light in the scene. So come to this world properties, color, add environment texture. So here I will be using HDR image from HDR event. Download link in the description if you want to use the same. So come to this. Let me select an HDRI. So here I will be selecting this HDRI and open image. So we got lighting in the scene. So come to this render properties once again. Enable ambient occlusion. So distance I will change this to 3. And enable this screen space reflections, refractions. Scroll down, come to this film. And enable transparent so that we get transparent background and let's add some material onto this bowl and this ground plane so select the bowl material properties add new material so for this bowl i want to give it a chrome look so let me change the base color to light gray and give it a metallic bit and reduce the roughness nice and for this ground plane select the ground plane add new material let me move to the shading tab and let me select this principal bsdf control plus t for node wrangler and let me add a wood texture for this so let me add this wood texture okay so here you can see we got that wood texture so let me add a curves in between so that we get the dark wood so see your yes rgb curves place this in between and bring the curve here so that it will look dark so now let's move on to this layout once again so in render, I don't want this to be visible. So select this object. Let me locate this here in the project window. So click on this render icon here. So as to disable it in render. And also if you want, you can hide out in viewport also. Just hide it out. Okay. So now let's add a light in the scene. So go to this add light, add sunlight. So press G, Z here. And let me rotate this R and let me rotate this here in this way. So if you want to render this scene out, first we need to have a camera in the scene. So go to this add camera. So press Ctrl Alt 0. Now press N on the keyboard. Come to this view options and enable this camera to view. So now we can adjust the angle here. So I think I will place this here like this so that, okay. Let me place this here. Nice. So once the position and angle is set, we can render this scene out. So in order to render this scene, come to this render options. So if you want to use cycles, you can use that. So come to this render engine and change this to cycles. And if your device got GPU, enable GPU. But this will take much time when compared to EV to render. So I will leave this to EV only. So after these settings, come to this output properties so by default this is set to full hd i will leave this to full hd only enable this render region crop to region and frame start and end i will leave this to 1 to 250 so frame rate you can select here i will leave this to 30 so now select the output folder where you want to save the files so here let me select a folder so here i have selected an output folder to save these files so file format i will render this in jpeg format okay and quality let it be 100 percent so once these settings are done, now we are ready to render the scene. So simply come to this render options and click on this render animation. So our render starts. So in this way, we can create this kind of Bitcoin dropping into bowl effects in Blender using rigid body physics easily. So hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial. If you learned anything new, please like, share and subscribe my channel to support me. So we'll meet in the next video. Until then, signing off. Take care. Bye.